Hey Libra, Alice here and welcome to your 2023 New Year predictions reading. So we're going to go through each month, January through December, and see what type of energy is incoming for you in the current energy. Uh, just keep in mind that energy is fluid. Um, we're checking now. Well, for me, my energy, like I, my energy, my timeline is right now, so it can be different for you, and a lot of things could change. Um, I'm not very good with like long cast, like forecasting or whatever, so really just take it as it resonates. I'm not going to do anything like specific. I'm just going to explain what the energy is, um, it will seem probably very vague because it's just energy. I, I have absolutely no context. And uh, I've done this reading once for myself uh, last year and I found that the energies were correct. It was just, <laughs> if you try too much to place that energy, like try to foresee what could happen, um, because you don't know what's going to happen before. So it's very difficult. I mean, you can kind of, like, we can kind of see from the months earlier, the energies, especially if it's major arcana, but, um, yeah, I mean, you'll get it. You'll, you'll see what I mean, um, about that. Uh, I just, just want you to be, I guess, realistic here with your expectations. All right. Um, we're also going to get a sort of an overall energy, like what spirit would like you to focus on in 2023, um, sort of like your lesson to learn. We'll get that with Major Arcana and we'll also clarify with charms. Um, it'll be about an hour because it's about like five, ten minutes per, per sign, per month. Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. Um, all the information about me and my readings is in the description box below. So please read that if you are inclined to. That's where all the um, fun disclaimers and everything is. Like I said, um, this is a general reading, so not everything may apply to your situation. Take what resonates, leave it doesn't. Don't try to force it here. Um, I feel like I just have to always remind, it's like, it's not a personal reading. I don't know you. So not everything is going to resonate. You know, there, there are messages here that aren't all for you. Um, Gotta remember that. All right, Libra, let's get started here. Let's see what the overall energy is for 2023 for you. What does Spirit want you to focus on this year? What is sort of your 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 lesson to learn? Oh, okay. So we have the world here. Um, okay. I feel like this year there at least well I'll put this here so you can see it. At least one cycle I feel is ending for you, an important cycle, something that perhaps has been ongoing uh for some time. Uh just because it's ending, that doesn't mean it's bad. Actually it's quite good. It's like finally it's over. Um it's a feeling of achievement, of accomplishment here. It can be anything. It can be um maybe you're finishing some sort of project or something, you know, maybe you're graduating from school or you're getting a promotion or I don't know, maybe you're getting married or something like leveling up. It can be seen as leveling up as well. You know, closing out one cycle to start a new cycle. It can be that as well. Um, what I feel what spirit wants you to focus on or learn this year is that this is deserved success for you. Um, this isn't coming out of nowhere. This is you working towards something, working towards finishing something. And once you finish it, you know, enjoy it, like celebrate it. You know, don't just be like, okay, it's done on to the next thing. Like, no, like this is a reminder to, you know, enjoy your accomplishments, like have a celebration, like feel good about it because you finished something, you've accomplished something, something that you've been working on. So don't forget to celebrate and enjoy the moment as well. That's also what I'm getting from that. Okay. But I do feel like good things um, are happening, at least one good thing. 
All right, so let's see. Let's see what 2023 has in store for you, Libra. on my nose. <laughs> oh, okay. So we have January, February, March, April. So, like I said, uh, Major Arcana means probably that the energy that month is more important. Um, it could be a turning point. Um, there for you. Why is it all crooked? Okay. It could be a turning point for you. Uh, minor arcana can be more along the lines of everyday activity. Things that are just kind of um, daily. It doesn't mean that it's small or it doesn't matter. It's just something that spirit wants you to know that is less so. Like you might kind of miss it. All right, so first we're going to see what your energy is like going, going into 2023, like what your current energy is right now. That's interesting. So we have the Eight of Cups here. I feel like you're walking away from something here, something that hasn't really served you. Um, I feel like there's nothing wrong with it, but it's like... It's like a feeling like now's the time. Now's the time for me to move on from whatever this Eight of Cups represents to you. You know, we have strength. We, has the em we have the Emperor. We has. We have the Emperor. I could speak. Yeah, I just feel like you're taking the lead now. You're taking control of your life. And, you know, you want your happiness here. Maybe you've been sleeping on this a little too long because the eight of cups represents like settling type of energy. It doesn't have to be within a relationship. It can just be something that you're doing, a habit that you're doing, something that you felt here, something that you probably have some sort of emotional attachment to, some sort of sentimental attachment to it, which is why it's been difficult to walk away from it. But I'm feeling now it's like you're trying to take control right now and you want to go towards your happiness here because these eight of cups, it's fine. It's content, but it's not like truly making you happy. And it's the best way I can describe it is like if we want to think of it as life, it's like right now, it's like your life is fine. It's like it's not it's not the best life ever, but it's like it's not the worst life either, but you might be feeling like you're waking up day to day and just kind of like, maybe it's not that there's nothing to look forward to. It's just, you don't feel like that, you know, that jump in your step kind of thing. There's something that's kind of missing, you know, that little shining light of happiness or, or something along those lines. And I feel like your energy is I'm like, I'm going to get off my ass and I'm going to search for it. I'm going to, I'm going to search for my happiness. I'm going to search for that little ball of light that makes me feel good. Um, and it's like realizing kind of like, well, I'm the only one that's going to do it. So if I don't do it, then who's going to do it? Right? Because it's, I, I feel that you've been holding back. You've been resisting doing this for probably some time. Okay. That's just the, the, the energy that we're going into 2023 with. Um, so if that resonates. All right, let's get started for the month to month. So get comfortable. I guess this is going to take about an hour here um, to go through it. Um, some months will be faster than others, but let's see what we have in store. So January this month, we have the three of cups in reverse. Yeah, I'm getting an energy that you're feeling maybe a little left out, a little out of the loop. Maybe like it has to do with the connections around you. Maybe you just feel like you're not connecting with people the way that you used to connect with them. There's something off about your connections, your friendships here with people. It's like you're feeling like you're just not really connecting um, here for some reason. Let's see. 
we can get any more of that. Yeah, we have the high priest here. Um, it could be that you're feeling that the, you might have differing beliefs. Um, you know how sometimes when you have a friend group and at the time when you met, you were on the same level, you had the same attitude towards things, you, you know, you had the same belief system and all that. I feel like you're feeling maybe a bit disconnected because it's changed. Either what you believe in has changed or what they believe in has changed. And it's creating this sort of dynamic here where it's like you feel like you're just kind of not connecting. Does that make sense? Let's see what the energies around for this month are. This can be like any energy that's coming towards you, okay? So it's pretty vague, but it's just kind of flesh things out a little bit here. It's to help you, I guess, for confirmation, for validation, things to look out for. Okay. So we have Apple. We have Disguise. We have Sign. And we have building. So the energy here that's around you, I do feel there's a love around you. It can be new feelings. I don't know if they're your feelings or they're somebody else's feelings, but there are new feelings here that are being hidden that somebody isn't being open with. It can be you, it can be somebody else. Remember, these are just energies that are around. They can affect you or it's affecting other people that are around you. Um, there is some sort of stability that's around you. I feel like things are for the most part fine, structurally fine. There's a good foundation, especially for dealing with connections. Um, if you're, you know, in this feeling of disconnection, um, I feel like there are solid roots with these connections. So I, I wouldn't worry too much about them, but it doesn't mean that this feeling goes away just because of that. Um, there's something about looking for the signs that you might see some signs, especially like on the side of buildings, um, that you might get some sort of signs like guidance, spiritual guidance or something along the, those lines um, here, especially when it comes to this, whatever this love is, there's some sort of new feelings that are around you that are being hidden, disguised here. Okay. Um, February. Okay. That's nice. Page of wands. That's the, this, uh, it's, it's coming back to the eight of cups energy. You know, I'm going to go find out. I'm going to go find out where my happiness is. This is you. This is you exploring, exploring the things around you. Um, just being very curious, you know, that's, that's what I get there. <laughs> The page of wands, just exploring, being a little explorer. Yeah, three of cups. You might be exploring more options. When I say options, um, you know, maybe you're, because I feel the friend group that you have now, or at least in January, that you're not feeling really connected to, um, because I just feel like you have you have different points of view, like you just believe in different things. And I, I see in February, you may be going off and exploring, um, you know, to, to find other people, other connections to connect to. Um, maybe you're making new friends or trying to make new friends here. Um, just trying to see what's out there. Um, could just be hanging out with people. Um, it, it doesn't even have to be with new people. You could still be hanging out with the same friends, but those friends are bringing in like new people. Like it's like a friend of a friend. Like maybe you're just meeting new people, you know, uh, through these social situations here. Or you're just very curious here or interested in maybe joining a group, like joining a club or joining some sort of um, community, group activity kind of thing. Let's see, what's the energy like around? Let's 
Okay. What fell in my lap? Oh, okay. Why? Why is there so many? I hate one. I don't hate it. It's just a lot to explain. Uh, okay, so we have eyeball. We have waning moon. We have jar. They're all Halloween ones. We have toilet paper. We have owl. And we have the locket. Okay, so these are, again, energies around you. I do feel there's somebody who's watching you. Um, wait, what does it say? Yeah, they're watching you. I don't think they're doing anything. Somebody, there's an energy of somebody that's watching but not doing. Just kind of observing here and thinking about what they're seeing here. I'm not seeing an energy that is being very forthcoming. Um, they're kind of, it is a bit of hiding, but it's, I don't think like, it's like hiding out in the open a little bit. Like, I don't think that it, this energy is not trying to be sneaky and they're not trying to be resistant. They just are not moving forward. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Like the best way I can describe it, if I could describe this energy as a person, um, like in, in a, an action of what somebody's doing, it's like somebody's just hanging out at the house and just kind of like, you know, leisurely sitting by the window and looking outside. They're not like spying or anything. They're just kind of sitting and observing like the neighborhood kind of thing, but they're not, their intent isn't to spy and their intent isn't to be hiding. They're not trying to be sneaky. They're just kind of sitting at the window and watching, you know, sipping their tea or whatever. That's that's what I feel that energy is. I mean, yeah, there is a little like mischievous behavior in that in itself because it's like, well, they know that they're just kind of sitting there and just doing it. But I don't know, like it just feels like the energy is somebody who is... Just sitting there, just sitting and observing. There's an energy of nostalgic around something from the past. Um, so it could be a past energy here. I get a little self-preservation as well. It can just be an energy of somebody who just doesn't want to get involved, but they're happy to just kind of observe and watch. It's weird. It's weird energy. All right, <laughs> let's move on to March. Ah, Temperance, first major arcana. So March, I feel for you, is a month of experimenting, trying things out, seeing what works. There is some trial and error, but I feel it's like going with the flow, being pretty like level-headed about things here. Just trying out new things. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Then you try something else. It's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, yeah, tower. Um, it can have come after something unexpected happening or having some sort of unexpected like realization, some sort of rude awakening here. So March seems to be one of those pivotal moment months here um, where it just feels like maybe, maybe you're feeling like what you've been doing hasn't really been working. Maybe you need to switch it up a little bit here. So it's like trying things out, trying to do things differently, slightly differently than before. It's very like, it's, it's an energy of alchemy, you know, trying to see what works. If I put this together and this together, does that make something? Or is it just blow up in my face? Okay, blew up in my face. Let's try again. Let's try something else here. Let's try this and that. Maybe that will work. There's just a lot of sort of trial and error going on here. Um, it can be because something isn't working out and it's like wanting it to work out. So trying to figure that out, trying to put things together, seeing what combination works here. Okay, let's see what's going on around. Oh, okay. 
some interesting energy around. We have sour grapes, we have pirate, we have puzzle piece, and we have wand. I okay, just be aware that there is an energy around you that's trying to manipulate the situation here. There's somebody here who's a little pouty, a little grumpy um, about something here. Um, they're not, they're missing, they're missing some important vital information though. So they don't have all the information. So they're kind of being a little grumpy or a little grumpy pants and trying to control things. Just be wary of this person, of this energy that's around you. There's just an energy that is just... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're missing some important piece of the puzzle here. So... I don't know if it's really their fault for feeling this way because they just don't know it. I'm getting like, it's like very like page, page of swords type of energy of somebody here who doesn't know everything, but they think that they know everything. And so like their actions are a little, I don't know, they could be a little rash, a little reckless, possibly. All right. Um. Where am I at? April. April. We have the King of Pentacles. It's very nice energy for you. Um, the King of Pentacles is just somebody here who kind of knows their worth here. Um, I feel that you might be focused more on your work, uh, more on making that coin, making that money here, and just kind of being successful in it. You know, nothing too crazy going on here, to be honest. At least not that I see. Um, I just see somebody here who's just working on their money and doing pretty good at it, doing pretty well at it. Um, here. Somebody who's pretty successful. I'm just getting out. I'm good. Time of energy. Yeah. Yeah, look, okay, I got two of these sticking to me. We have the world, that's that energy here. And we have the seven of swords. Okay. I do feel that maybe you're not sharing your success. And when I say not sharing, it's like you're you're being kind of humble about it. It's like you're not bragging about it, but you are actually accomplishing something very meaningful here, I feel. Um, we come back to the world, you know, so part of that lesson is to celebrate your accomplishments, you know, the things that you've worked for, the success that you have, you know, don't forget to celebrate it. And I feel April might be one of those months where you've completed something here, you've accomplished something. Um, it seems to be quite successful, but you're kind of hiding it. You're kind of like not letting a lot of people know about it or you're just, yeah, it, it seems like you're being kind of sneaky about it. You're keeping it to yourself. I don't know what this is. Um, I, I don't know if it's good if you should share it or not. I'm just saying that's just your energy here. It's like you feel like you need to keep it on the down low for some reason. You, I, I don't know. I don't know what the reason is. Let's see what's going on around. I don't think much is going on around. To be honest, yeah, it's yes, I really don't because we have, we have mute, we have handcuffs, and we have detective. The energy that's around you, I feel probably because you're working so much or there's something that has got your attention, like a thing, like you're trying to make money, that the energy around you is finding it very difficult to talk to you. Um, it's like you're always busy. And they are finding it very difficult here to communicate with you. There's silence here. Um, they're not able to talk to you. They're feeling restricted. Like there's not much that they can do in the situation. And all they can really do is observe you. Like spy on you. Like see what you're doing on your social media. You know, if you're posting anything online or whatever, they can see that. But it's like they're having a difficult time talking to you directly is what I'm getting here whether it's on the phone or in person or whatever it just feels the communication this person feels silenced 
I don't think you're ghosting them or anything like that. I mean, maybe you are, but this person just, ha th this energy, the energies around you are having a hard time communicating with you. And I just feel because you're so focused on something that you're kind of keeping to yourself. Okay. You know, whatever, if that's your prerogative, but just remember what spirit said about the world, about enjoying your successes. I mean, that doesn't mean you have to share it with other people, but, you know, celebrate it whether you're doing it on your own or not. Um, May. Oh, the sun. Okay, I'm going to tell you, so far your reading, the outlook here is pretty good so far. <laughs> Where there's light, there is shade though. But I'm getting so far a lot of positive energy. The sun, this is very positive. It's a May, it's sunshine, it's nice energy, it's happiness here. Just feeling good in the neighborhood. Um... You might be feeling good with somebody else here. There could be another person. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a romantic thing. Like it can just be like a best friend, um, a family member. There's just somebody here that I feel you're being, you're, you're pretty happy with. You're like pretty content here with. Uh, yeah, Knight of Swords, moving forward. I feel if there's another person here, then... It's like the conversation between the two of you just flows very well. Um, this is somebody that you can be very honest with and, and them too. It's like a back and forth type of thing. It's like the type of energy, like when you meet like your best friend when you were a kid, kind of, it could be your best friend when you like, uh, like a childhood friend here, but it's just that energy where it's like, you just want to like rush towards them you know like when you went to school and like every day you're like i need to see my best friend i need like that is like the reason why you went to school was to talk to them and then like you talk to them all day at school and during lunchtime and recess breaks and then you know you talk to them on the way to school now you're talking to them on the way home from school and you're going to their house and you're spending hours with them after school the only time you don't spend with this person is when you're sleeping it feels a little like that. No, I'm not saying that's for everybody, but there's just a very positive energy here. And it's like bouncing off of you and perhaps another energy here that you just feel very comfortable with. It's just a very nice energy here. Let's see what's going on around. What's the energy that's around you for May? See, I see what I'm getting here is like you go from January feeling disconnected from people and then it kind of like evens out here in May and it feels kind of like it's like in April you're focusing more on yourself and focusing more on your work and all that. So maybe that helps. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> but I'm just trying to interpret the energy the best the way that I can for you. Anything else want to come out? I just don't want them to spill out all over the place. Okay. Alright, so we have Coffin. We have Piggy Bank. Mm, okay. We have Phone. We have Koala. And we have candy. I'm going to tell you that you have an energy around you that is feeling the loss here. The loss of conversation. I feel like you're you're talking to this other person. And there is an, there is an energy around you who is thinking about perhaps... Like they're just feeling a loss here. A loss of, um, I don't know, of you probably. Uh, cause we're, we're kind of far out now, so I'm just really just going to tell you the energy that's around. You're going to have to kind of plop it in to how it makes sense for you. Um, but there's just somebody, there's an energy here feeling like they've lost something. They're thinking about it. They could be thinking about communicating with you, or they could be thinking about the loss of communication here. It seems to come from somebody who was trying to save their pennies for a rainy day. It could be somebody who was keeping you on the back burner. Somebody who thought of you as kind of plan B kind of thing. Maybe they thought you would always be around. 
here and it, it's like you know they they were saving you in their back pocket and then they looked and they didn't realize like they didn't notice that you got out kind of thing you're not there anymore and it seems maybe they're they're seeing this now um I, I you know there's there's a energy here a feeling like they don't deserve um they don't deserve you like thinking about it like maybe i don't deserve this i don't know what the energy is there's just an energy of somebody it can it can be you but it's it's external of somebody who's thinking about the things that they've gotten that they didn't deserve um and there's just somebody who wants to talk here about that so that's the best you know i'm trying i'm trying to give you all the different like energies that are there and how they can play out but because we're like at may here it's, it's just gonna get more and more like that um okay june 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 Ooh, what is this why do you have the tower here what's happening something is happening in june yeah see i told you say i shouldn't have opened my big fucking mouth because I got to, see, we should have just ended this reading at May. Because I was like, you know, up to here, May, things are okay. Things seem fine. Look, you're at the, the peak of happiness. You've peaked in May. And I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of light here. Where's the shade? Oh, there's the shade. June, the tower. Um, This is some, I don't know what it is. I have no idea in context, but there's something here that's happening that's unexpected. You, you don't see it coming, and it kind of shakes your world. I have no idea what it is. It's just something. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a little bit more insight here. No? Yeah, okay. I mean, the only thing I can tell you is it comes in quick. That's the Eight of Wands. It's just sudden, like, bam, it's there in your face. It could be just, what is this, June June 1st, in your face, bam, you get hit with something. Something that you didn't think was ever going to happen. You didn't. I don't even think you see it coming, to be honest. That's how fast this is. This is super fast. I don't know what it is. It can be absolutely anything. All I can tell you is that it's going to shake your world. It's going to rock your world in some way. So this is a very pivotal moment here. This is if we continue with the energy. Remember, we're, we're pulling on the current energy right now. It's kind of like, this is the story. If things are stay the same they, the way that they are now, but you're seeing the reading now. So you might change things leading up to this so this tower doesn't happen. So I, you know, I don't know, maybe you're just, maybe you just take note and you're like, okay, June, I'm going to be a little bit more careful, a little bit more cautious, uh, perhaps, I don't know. Towers will happen though. That's the thing. Towers, something will happen, but you could lessen it perhaps. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. I'm just getting that it's just something that is going to affect you. It can be anything. It can be a dark night of the soul. It can be, I, I, I really have no idea. It can be personal or it can be external. It can be something that happens to you or something that's happening within you. Okay. I don't, I don't know. Okay. So we have lantern. Yeah. We have owl. Okay. And we have candy corn. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of getting that, that the external energy that's around you you know, you're, there is a lot to learn from this, whatever this tower is. You're going to learn a lot. Some of it is worthwhile. And to be honest, there's a lot of it that probably is nonsense. <laughs> I, I can't tell you. I have no idea what's going to happen. Oops. Oh, uh, yeah, I needed to take a drink of water and then all the water spilled everywhere. Hold on a sec. All right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, this tower, uh, I don't know what it is. Oops, there's like some water there. Okay, whatever it is, the energy around you um, is kind of, I wouldn't say forcing you, but the energy around you is allowing you to think about it, is giving you sort of that space and time. Sorry, I'm just wiping water. I thought I got it, but I can feel it now. Um, 
is giving you that energy, giving you the space to really contemplate what's gone on, um, what's happened here. Oh, I don't like this. This is all wet. <laughs> I can see what it is, but ee, I don't like when the cards get wet because then they get all weird. Okay, there's a little bit more water that's spilling here than... Okay, like this is perfect though. You know, I'm actually glad that this is happening. That the water spilled everywhere. You know why? Because it's it's proving my point. Because we're talking about June here. And I'm talking about how something just comes out of nowhere and it kind of like shakes things up for you. I did not expect water to come out of my glass. My glass isn't even that full. You can't even see it. It's like not even that full. Why would water come out of that? There's no way water would come out of that. What happened was I picked up the glass, the paper towel that was underneath got stuck to it. It never gets stuck to it. For some reason it was stuck to it. And then I tried to sort of like grab it or something and then the water spilled out. Unexpected, right? That's what this is. <laughs> okay, Spirit, you didn't need to prove the point to me with examples here, but like that's how fast it happens. And I feel like you can deal with it. You know, um, it's not, I just, the energy around you is kind of, it's nonsense. Candy corn. Candy corn to me is, why do people argue about candy corn? You know, whether um, it's, it's a good candy or not. Like people get like into serious like debates about the validity of candy corn as a Halloween candy. And it's like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And that's what I, I'm getting here. The energy around you, as much as it's allowing you to contemplate, excuse me, and think about things, it kind of doesn't matter. And when I say it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter because what's already happened has happened. So you can think about it, you can learn from it, but don't get stuck in it because it's already happened. So it doesn't matter if you go over it and like, oh, what what could I have done differently? Like, yes, I could have maybe not taken a drink, but I needed to take a drink because my throat, like, I, I, <laughs> I, I needed it to talk. So I was going to take a drink. No matter what, I was going to get a drink. So, and logic tells me I would have grabbed the, the water that is already here. Why would I go get other water? I didn't know that was going to happen. Like, but it doesn't matter. I can think about it. I can talk about it like forever but ultimately it doesn't matter right it's already happened it's already happened the damage is done to the card poor little card hopefully it dries fine i've had a, a couple cards that get wet and then they kind of i don't know they're not that great afterwards and then it's kind of weird because i can feel what the card is but anyways <laughs> it doesn't matter Okay, so July. Let's see. Let's move on. July. Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I told you the shade is coming. The shade is coming. July. We have the devil. I don't know if it's related to the month before, but this is some negative energy that you're getting into. This is you feeling like you're all those negative like uh toxic behaviors toxic thoughts seeping into your brain here holding you back from doing things it can be making you it can be you making yourself feel self-conscious um putting down yourself that inner saboteur come on like give me like an energy for this See, like those little teddy bears, they can't get out. They're trying, they're trying. But that devil's got a hold on them. And that's what's going on here. Yeah, eight of swords, you're in your head. You're, you are what's standing in your way here in July. This is all you, this is all you getting into your head. I, I don't know in what context, I don't know about what, but the energy here is that I'm getting is that you are standing in your way, you're holding yourself back, you're telling yourself all these negative thoughts like, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, you know, I'm not smart enough, I don't have the skills, I don't have the abilities, I, you know, it's all these things. I, I don't know what's going on here, but 
you're this is all in your head you're just getting into your head you need to get out of your head you need to get out of this energy here but this is important i, I it can have something to do with what happened in june it's possible um that whatever rocked your world here has made you feel this way um let's see what the energies are like around okay So we have map, we have potion, and we have, whoa, okay, we have footprints. So the energy around you, um, something about the past, some sort of memory here uh, is kind of helping you to give you some sort of strength here. Um, I don't know what it is. It could be a place that you used to go to. It could be a specific spot. Um, so if you're in this energy, I feel like it would be a good idea to consider going to some place that you used to go to. Um, that you have some sort of good memory about here to get sort of your vitality back. To get that energy back because you might be feeling quite drained by this devil energy here so the energy around you is kind of trying to lead you towards some place in particular um to kind of feel that energy again it could just be like you know being grounded going out to nature um if there's a particular spot that you like to go someplace that you haven't been to for a while that you have good memories about um that's what seems to be the energy here is trying to push you towards that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all I really have there for you, um, July. All right, August, 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 August. Ooh, two of cups in reverse. Why? You got a lot of energies here about you and dealing with people. Um, two of cups in reverse. You're feeling disconnected from one person in particular i ain't gonna lie it could be this one over here um that we were talking about with the sun in june possibly um i don't know i don't know there's just an you're just feeling separated from somebody a, an energy a particular person i'm not gonna lie i don't like to say these things but it can be it can be a permanent separation for some people. For others, it's just you're just feeling like somebody has gone away. Um, that you're just not as close as you used to be. Okay, you have the Ace of Pentacles. There's some sort of new beginning here. Um, you might have gotten some sort of opportunity. I, I don't know if it's the cause of the separation. It could be. Um, there could be some sort of new opportunity that is causing the separation, but I don't really feel like it. I feel this is almost like it allows you to press the reset button here and start over in some way. So it's like whatever this disconnection is um you might see it or you might feel it like as a new opportunity for you to start something in your life <laughs> okay that's, that's all i got let's see what is the energy around you whoa okay they all kind of flew out at me oh great i'm gonna have to like try to find these I don't see where they are. I know they fell. They fell in with the other cards. Oh, I'm going to have to like look for this later if I can't find it right now. I'm so sure at least one fell somewhere. I'm not even going to lie. I can't find it. <laughs> I have no idea where it is. All right. Okay, it's not meant to, it's not meant to come out right now. 
because it's not in front of my face. It just like just left. Just yeeted its way out. That's okay. I get it. It's fine. This is why I try to be careful. And I don't want things to like go all over the place. Hey, but the thing is, it's just paper, right? I can just print more. Okay, so we have sleep. We have carousel. Okay, fine. You won't go there. Fine. And we have birdcage. Mm. There's an energy around you that is kind of is stuck in a cycle. Um, yeah, it's, I'm not like, it's a cycle where I, I guess you could say they're being kind of lazy. The energy is being a little lazy. Like they're sleeping on something here. I don't know if they're aware or not, if the energy is aware, but they're just on loop. Like, it's like, like Groundhog Day. Like, it's on loop here. And it's like a very, like, sort of sleepy, drowsy type of energy. Like, I don't know if they're aware of things. <laughs> I don't know. That's all I get is from the energy around you. It's very sleepy, very drowsy. Okay. So... And the page of cups in reverse. This is the damaged card. The poor little page is damaged uh, for September. I'm trying to like dry it off. Um, September. I feel for you in September, you might be a little, it could be because of what happened in August blocking um your intuition here it's like not really feeling wanting to go after things um that you're feeling like like the page of cups is somebody here who wears their heart on their sleeve you know they they are led by their heart so whatever it is like they want to do they follow their heart i'm feeling a little bit of resistance here of like yeah no i don't really feel like doing that I just get a, I don't feel like doing that. No, I don't feel like doing that. I don't feel like it. Even if you feel drawn to do something or you feel intuitively that you should be doing something, I'm just getting a, nah, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm cool. I don't want to do that. I don't want to, I don't want to go through any of that. Um, I just don't want to because I, it's like, it's like almost like protecting your feelings. It's like, I just. I don't want to. It's like you're trying to be realistic here. It's like, no, like it's not going to work. And I'm being realistic here. Uh, no, no. But there's like a bit of fear here. That's the thing. It's like afraid to put your heart out there. You know, the seven of pentacles. It is like I'm trying to sort of hold back. Um... It's like I don't want to... It's like... I, it's almost like, yeah, I don't want to do it. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. I don't want to do it. I don't know if it really is or not, but I'm just getting an energy that you are feeling like, I don't want to go towards that. I don't want to follow that dream. I, you know, I, I'm going to be really realistic here because it's a waste of time to dream about shit like that. I don't know what happened, but that's what I'm getting there. Could be related to that tower and that devil energy. It is coming off as kind of cynical <laughs> kind of it is pretty cynical energy here what's going on around there are messages around you uh, i can just i can see the one okay oh, oh, oh. okay so we have poster we have measuring tape and we have graveyard that's very interesting. So I just was talking about fear, right? Literally that graveyard on the other side says don't be afraid. Because there's nothing to be afraid of, of graveyards. Graveyards are just very 
quiet spaces. Um, it, it, yeah, it's, there's nothing to be afraid of in a graveyard. Um, I feel the energy around you is trying to give you some sort of message here. Um, not to be afraid, especially don't be afraid to like long for things or desire things, especially things that are, that feel out of reach, um, here. So I would pay attention to any sort of messages that you see on like posters or billboards or things like that here. Um, especially closer to the end of September when things start going more towards Halloween, like with pumpkins and stuff like that, graveyards, things like that. Um, okay, that's all I really have for you because we are in September where things are getting a little bit fuzzier. <laughs> uh, October, we have the Five of Swords in Reverse. I am getting a bit of regret here from you. Um, regret for the mistakes that you've made. You may have made some mistakes recently here and you're kind of feeling bad about it. Now, the things that you did, it's like you benefited from it, but it's like, yeah, I kind of feel bad that I did that. It's kind of what I'm getting. Okay, two want to come out. Yeah, Three of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Ooh, what did you do? I think that... I, I, I can't... Because mm, we're so far out here. But the energy here... There are three people or three energies involved here. It has to do with love, new love, new feelings here. You might have put somebody in a third party. And I'm getting... Regret and shame and guilt. I'm getting a lot of guilt here from it. So I don't know what you did. You might have, maybe you played somebody, maybe you strung somebody along. I don't know what's going on here. Whatever it is, it seems that somebody's feelings were hurt. I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's you or somebody else. Somebody's feelings were hurt and I get from your energy related to that guilt for something that you did you said something that you said something you did maybe you played some mind games um i don't know if you meant to do it probably on some level you did and that's where this guilt feeling is because you kind of I, I feel like you got what you wanted out of the situation but there's a bit now i feel bad about it i don't know it is what it is okay that is what the energy is here we're not all perfect angels right that's just the energy so what's the energy around <laughs> I told you we're not all perfect angels. Look at that pitchfork. Look at that pitchfork. Yeah. We have hourglass and we have TV. Yeah, there's an energy around you, perhaps from your past here, who is not in agreement with you. They have, yeah, no, there, there is conflict here with this person. There's a disagreement here with this person. They may have felt like they've wasted their time or there's something about time, time passing by, not in a good way. Um, it could be passing by slowly or there's just time I was wasted here. Um, there could be messages for you on TV or in a TV show or something or Netflix. I don't know, something that you watch on TV. There could be messages in there for you as well. Okay. Um, November. Hmm. <laughs> the Four of Swords in reverse. It's a very antsy type of energy. It's like you know you should keep your mouth shut. I don't know if you are. <laughs> um, it is like a lot of thoughts going through your mind, running through your head here. Um,. I mean, I do get the energy. It's like, you know you should be quiet. I don't know if you are being quiet, though. I don't know how long it's lasting, this quietness. Um, let's see. Maybe you feel like you should say something, but you don't know how to say it. You don't know what to say. It can be that as well. Yeah, we have the High Priestess here. There's something that you're being quiet about. 
here and I feel like you want to say it. You want to have a conversation. You want to talk about it. Something that you have kept to yourself here. Something that you're keeping secret. I just get this antsy energy of wanting to spill the beans. But I don't think that you are. It doesn't feel like that you are. Um, not yet. <laughs> but you have some sort of secret here. Something that you're keeping to yourself. Let's see the energy around. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, we have horseshoe, we have teapot, and we have heart. I'm going to tell you, I mean, this is in November. I'm just going to tell you the energy here. You have somebody around you. Somebody here that you have a friendship with. Who's coming in. Um, it's a good thing. It's like almost better than expected. It's very lucky type of energy and it can, it, they, on the wings of romance there, it's like a, like a Cupid's angel type of thing. It's the only way I can really explain it. <laughs> it. It does feel like romance is in the air. Love is in the air here and it's, it's going it, it, it's it's positive. It's going in a good way. It's very lucky type of energy. Better than expected here. Um, something to do with friendship. So there's a friend here, possibly. Okay. I mean, that's all I got for there. Okay, December. In December, we have justice in reverse. Oh, <laughs> what happened? Ah, Major Arcana, Justice in Reverse. I have no idea the context of this, but the energy is like you're feeling either that something is broken, uh, something isn't fair, something didn't go your way, something is one-sided, that, you know, it's, it's not balanced here. Um, Yeah, I, I really don't know who who's in the wrong here. Somebody, It's like you feel like somebody is wrong. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's somebody else. Or if it's just something's just not very fair. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're thinking about this a lot too. It stresses the fuck out of you. Whatever this is in December, there's something here that is stressing you out, worrying you. It's keeping you up late at night because it's not fair. It's not, it's like it doesn't feel right. There's something that doesn't feel right to you. Like it's it's a big thing that doesn't feel right to you. Um, it can be lopsided or it can be um, like something's broken that shouldn't be broken. Okay. So let's see what the energy is like around you for December. Oh, okay. We have a full moon. So the full moon in December may be... Um, I'll, I'll look it up for you in a second. Okay. May be important. We have smoke bomb. And we have spoon. Okay, let me just look up the full moon in December for you. It's pretty far out. Um, let's see, where's the full moon? Oh, it's okay. It's near the end of the month. It's December 26th. It is a full moon in Cancer. Ooh. Ooh. Huh. Full moon in Cancer. Um, so December 26th might be around that. It's a Tuesday. Um, around that time there may be something important there something that might blindside you because the energy here with the smoke bomb this is something that you don't see the energy around you or it's just the energy around you is clouding you so you can't see clearly um, it can be kind of fuzzy um, making it very difficult for you to maybe use your intuition here um, just something that's clouding you here 
uh, with the spoon. The energy might be being spoon fed to you by the universe here a little bit, uh, especially around the full moon. So I don't know what that's about, um, but it just seems like the universe doesn't want you to see something and wants to give you something in particular, I guess. Wants to spoon feed you some sort of energy here um, around that time. Okay, I mean, I don't really know what that means, but um, there you have it. Uh, that is your reading, Libra, for 2023, uh, your New Year's predictions reading. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this reading or if you found it useful or entertaining in any way, I do appreciate it. If you could like, share, or subscribe, it helps me do more with the channel. If you've already done that, then thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, you can always check out your other signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or any uh, of the other readings if you feel called to it. There could be a message in there for you. Um, but that's what I've got for you today. Um, I hope you have a happy new year. Uh, take care, and I hope you have a good day or good night wherever you are. Uh, good luck, and I will talk to you later.